science, science lets you find all those kinds of uh, science fiction topics that people know about when they're kids, spaceships, uh, exploding things, other universes. These are all the kinds of things that we think about in astrophysics and cosmology. And uh, we have lasers. Everything I found, no matter what you're doing, if you add some lasers on it, it's better. And uh, if you had lasers that are a bunch of different colors. Uh, I've got an experiment going on right now, which has got a purple laser, a green laser, uh, a red laser, and an infrared laser. It's, it's the best. Especially when kids come by the lab, they just say, what's going on in this thing? And they don't care about the other, like, more important part of the science project. They care about the thing where all the lasers are flashing. Uh, lasers are, are ways for us to measure things, really, that's all it is. And a long time ago, um, astronomers used to use the sunlight to measure things uh, waving around on the Earth, like sundials that could tell what time it was by using the light. And over the years, we've gotten better and better. Um, in the 50s, um, someone wanted to do astronomy better, so the laser was invented. And now we have uh, barcode scanners in supermarkets because of something like that. Uh, these days we're trying to use la lasers to measure, um, this is a science fiction kind of term, we're going to measure the uh, fluctuations in the space-time continuum. I know, I just love to say that. Like when people ask what I do, I say, I'm measuring the fluctuations in the space-time continuum. Doesn't that sound cool? The reason that uh, the energy in the gravitational wave uh, goes down like one over the distance squared. And the reason that the brightness of stars also decreases like one over the distance squares has to, distance squared has to do with the fact that the radiation is going into three dimensions. And because the surface area, the area of a, of a sphere is proportional to the, to the uh, diameter of the sphere squared, that's the same reason why the energy decays in that way. And so the fact that the gravitational energy and the electromagnetic energy decay in the same way tells us that gravity and electromagnetic radiation are using the same number of spatial dimensions, or so we think. However, um, our measurement of this isn't so precise. So the timing is right. Uh, gravity and light seem to travel really, really at the same speed. Uh, but the thing we don't know is, uh, is gravity leaking a little bit into the extra spatial dimensions? And uh, so far, what we can tell is if it's leaking into other dimensions, it's not leaking that much. But uh, the real test of that is still to come. We've got to look for uh, a black hole chirp that goes from the lowest frequencies to the highest frequencies. And you can think about it like um, when you're in certain rooms, depending on the stuff on the walls and the foam and whatever, you can tell what kind of room you're kind of in. You can tell if there's a lot of furniture or you're in a closet or an auditorium, and it has to do with the echoes. And it's, the same goes for gravitational waves. Mm -hmm.